Yo, what's poppin' you guys? Sizzle here. Welcome back to testing out the TF2 arsenal. We test out every single weapon in TF2 to see what they have to offer. And uh, this episode, we're testing out the Kritzkrieg, which is an alternate weapon to the stock metagun. And I'll explain more about it when we go find a game. Alright, looks like we're head off to Banana Bay of all maps. I haven't been on this map in a long time, but it's one of my favorites. I kind of wish more people played it. We actually don't have bots on this one. But anyway, Kritzkrieg is a very simple weapon. Uh, it's got the same healing raise the stock, the same like range, same everything, no other really special mechanics. All it has is 25% faster uber charge rate, so like you get uber a little bit faster, and by a little bit I mean actually quite a lot. Uh, and it also has, uh, instead of uber, crits. You get guaranteed crits instead of immortality. Uh, or in more invulnerability, I guess is a better word, because you're not immortal, you can still die by getting, you know, uh, pushed off the map or something. But yeah, just like uh, any normal lady gun, your medic, people are gonna target you when you're healing people. The, uh, the idea with the Kritzkrieg is that the medi gun, the stock medi gun, you could use it to make offensive pushes, you can use it to make defensive plays, you know, save some teammates. The idea with the Kritzkrieg is purely offense. Alright, you, you trade the ability to use it defensively and save people for the ability to pop crits on someone and give them guaranteed, not mini crits, full on crits. And help them pop up even more. So for that reason, it's useful if you're winning. It's useful if you have a really good player on your team. Like if you have like a really good soldier, demo man, heavy. It's really useful with the demo man when they stick you spam. Uh, but it's it's really really useful when you have a good player because they'll have big splash damage, you know, large amounts of kills, and, and a lot will happen with guaranteed crits. You make a lot of offensive plays happen. Uh, defensively, it's not so great because you're still vulnerable while you're using it. The person you're healing is still vulnerable while they're using it. Like, it's it's not a defensive ability in the slightest. It is the offensive metagun, right? Use this thing when you're, you're making a big push, you're about to kill 10 people. Uh, obviously, you can't use it to save yourself or whatever, so I guess it's kind of defensive in a way, but it's it's not defensive on average. All right, this guy's got stickies, so I'm going to naturally try to heal him. Uh, it kind of depends, though, if he actually does anything. <laughs> Because you need people to be offensive when you have this thing. When you got the crits, they gotta they gotta go for crits. But yeah, just like a normal eddy gun, any bills you get assists on, you get assists on. Like guaranteed. Like medic has like a stupid amount of priority when it comes to getting assists on kills. You can see we're ready to charge. I wanna find someone more like going in more. Not a spy though, I need some big damage. That is a spy I just healed right there. Uh, let's go heal this scout for mobility reasons. I'm going to die soon. You know? Emmanuel Mello, you are going to get the crits. The second, you don't want to just pop them randomly. You need enemies to actually be there to die. I had to pop this just in case. I feel like I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. It, it, here's the problem. If you pop the crits randomly, and the person you are critting has no clue what's going on, you know, they're new to the game like th this guy's probably new to the game, right? He's just enjoying himself. Now, power to him. Um, I, don't, I don't hate this guy or anything. It's casual. It's a casual game. You should be casual. I think people that hate on people not making plays like that when you randomly give them crits, you're, you're just kind of fucked in the head. It's, it's, it's a very casual game. Uh, but when you want, if you want to get big value out of your crits, you want to actually do something with it. You gotta pick your target well, right? With with an Uber, generally, because it's it's made to make someone live. But right? you can pop it whenever. You can make someone live. They can get value. They can not get value. But at the end of the day, you got the guaranteed value of making them live. Uh, if if you're popping crits on someone, the only value you're gonna get is whatever the person you're pocketing can get you, right? If it's a soldier. Uh, it's the amount of people he can hit with rockets, right? If it's uh, a demo man, hopefully he has a sticky bomb launcher. Otherwise, it's a bit more rough. Uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> I feel like I should know who that is. Probably some, like, football player or something. But yeah, like, you, you want to find someone generally splash damage is king. You can obviously use it on pyros and heavies and stuff, but it's it's just way less efficient. Because uh, they can only shoot one person at a time, or they have to be really close to get that guaranteed value. And when people see the crits creep, the guaranteed crits coming at them, the natural response is run. Run away, get out of here. <laughs> All right? and, and that's, uh, that means you need the range. You need the ability to, to damage them at a range. Now, heavy with crits can kind of do that, because crits help uh, mitigate like distance. 
So I summon further away. Getting hit by a crit isn't gonna uh, be affected by damage follow up. This guy's fucking me up. God damn. I need to be more cautious. Uh, but yeah, so you wanna you wanna make sure you pick your crit targets well. Uh, generally, this weapon is not good if your teammates are all kinda bad or you just don't have certain classes. Let's say you have a team of all scouts. It's really just not a good idea to run the crit screen. The scout already does so much damage, like point blank or whatever. Crits don't help him too much. I mean, they obviously always help. It's better to have crits than not have crits, but... On average, I mean, it, it doesn't doesn't do much to crits a scout. I'm gonna try to take this demo. It seems like he's actually making aggressive plays now. Uh, and I need to position <laughs> in a way that I'm not getting shot while healing them here. I gotta run. Holy shit. <laughs> he got him! Oh, I can't keep it up. Demo man. Ricky, no. He's dead. Why am I stuck? Water physics moment. I'm dead. I'm so dead. The people hate medics. So they're gonna chase me to the end of the earth and make sure I die. <laughs> He's your Uber. <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> I wonder if this is the real bat magic guy. He's got a fancy hat, so I'm assuming maybe. Could be. Be weird to, to role play as, as fat magic. To be honest, he's a he's a pretty controversial figure just for being really good at sniper. Either way, I mean that's that's the whole idea. I explained how the Chris Kree is used. I don't know if there's anyone in this lobby outside of maybe that demo that I could have given it to, but I didn't play safe enough to build it up. I don't play a lot of medics, so I'm not used to positioning well, you know, positioning out of sniper sight lines, etc. Uh, I just I just don't know. Okay. The demo doesn't know either. I go and I go and heal him like that. Yeah, you know, we're gonna actually sit and spawn until I get crit. Alright, Emmanuel is gonna help us out here. And I'm, I'm gonna go check if it's the real bat magic, just out of curiosity. This is not the real fat magic. Unless the real fat magic is Spinosaurus Studios, but I just don't think that's the case. Maybe, maybe, that, maybe that is a thing he did. I wouldn't know. You can't kill fat magic, look at me go. Okay, so it's a guy with a bunch of expensive hats role-playing as fat magic. Very interesting. I don't really know why people do that. But whatever. But yeah. Let's keep it going. Now let's, let's stick to this pirate for a bit. I feel like he's been like the safest way for me to get uber charged. I just want to get off a nice uber. I want to go see if I can find like... The, a direct hit soldier doesn't have that splash damage which I was talking about that rockets generally do. And I don't trust that sniper sight one, so I'm not going to peek it. That is... is that our spy? I don't know. Uh, is this going to be the guy I have to pop crits on? I guess so, I'm kind of low. Uh, fuck. I should've popped. Holy fuck. I made it back. We're chilling. Alright. I I might just have to crit a scout or something, because I don't I don't see any other opportunities here. And it's showing themselves. But we're gonna do it. I'm gonna pop crits on the scout. There we go. 45. Quick damage. Quick hits. That guy's dead. I, I accidentally pocketed the spy, but th you think he still got my crits? We're popping. I'm not where I should be. I lost the scout. Now we're sticking to our pirate now again. One of those is fake, isn't it? Uh, we have we have two Gibbous pirates. Okay, interesting. I gotta be very careful. Gotta watch my back here. This fucking kill is beautiful. Okay, can you? I I would not have died there. He would have had it. Real fat magic just hits five heads there. That's some edge. <laughs> Holy shit. God damn. Is this guy cheating? Am I pocketing a cheater? I might be pocketing a cheater. I don't think these are real shots. But who knows? There are some disgustingly good snipers out there. I'll take a I'll take a few kills. We're at a seven kill streak by the way, just for pocketing for four fucking seconds. 
Alright, where is where's the crits? Are you the crits? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go for it. We're gonna do crit crit ham, I guess. We're not we're not closing that gap on the scout. Unless, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crits allow for a lot of shenanigans. On that, there was a shenanigan. This guy, this guy is, I think he's just cheating. Let's see, does he shoot this heavy? That, he was like scoped in when he did, I don't know, man. This is kind of sus. I feel like I might be pocketing and cheated right now, but I don't know the signs of, of someone who's cheating. Uh, I don't have that type of uh, information in there. <laughs> yeah. And we got it. We got to kill Shiga 12. We kind of showed off a funny use of the crits. You know, crits ham is funny. A, a more efficient use of the crits with the crit scout. That was actually pretty good value. Like he got a few kills with his pistol, but a scatter gun got a crit there. Like it was, it was all pretty good. But yeah. Uh, that's that. The map should be ending now. We should. Uh, if you didn't know, Banana Bay ends when the train hits the cart, and the train is approaching by that noise. And there it is. And it hits the cart, blows up, and we win. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, hopefully I didn't just pocket a cheater. I, I, I really hope that's the case. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.